drawing Japanese style tattoo designs. In this case, it's the uh, koi fish. I don't have uh, really much to say about this because I, I don't know much about it. Um, there are many forms of uh, tattoo art work. A similar style to a Japanese is American traditional wear. It has pretty much bold lines and um, you know, a small palette of colors. And then similar to that would be probably the new school traditional, which I think is just an update of uh, different designs. When I make my uh, trip to Japan eventually, I've got to absorb all this uh, knowledge that's out there. Well, find out if there's a, if there is an actual difference of meaning between a koi fish uh, swimming up and uh, or a koi fish swimming down. If there is a a way to tell the difference between a female dragon and a male dragon. There's a. Um, so much to learn, so much. And I attempt to do um, the best that I can with what limited knowledge I have of the uh, certain art. So um, should they come where I could learn from a genuine person that knows a lot about this stuff? still see either my blunder or the way I approach something carefully. I have a friend that tattoos and draws and this guy always uh, this is a killer on the paper man. He feels looks like he's murdering it because he's so like jabbing it so I like having a uh, a uh, soft approach to um, such artwork because I mean to all artwork it's not a tool like a, a hammer or a, or a gun that just uh, requires a lot of brute force that's just my, my take on it I've slammed paint on, on canvases that I really didn't didn't care for. I felt stumped and would just um, I guess letting out my uh, my emotions on that. I've done a couple paintings. Still very, still feel very, yeah. Again, limited on, limited on that also, as far as experience and knowledge as to what to do. But I did learn a 
few things about mixing colors, which uh, was interesting. Just be careful as to making sure that you're using a clean side to brush something. The uh, black areas here, I'll just uh, again sharpen up my pencil. Thing about my setup here, I uh, just use uh, an old magazine. I got plenty of uh, Playboy magazines that I got for free, and um, a couple old National Geographic ones, and some tattoo magazines and photo magazines that I used to. Um, lay between uh, the magazine and then the foam and then just the, uh, a, a little rag that I could put on top. I don't want my uh, greasy and sweaty hands touching it, touching the uh, final drawing and smearing it. So take your time drawing. Kind not where you're gonna go next because so Prisma pencil is pretty hard to take off. So if I made a mistake, uh, it's pretty much gonna show there. For, uh, for reference on Japanese designs, I, I go online and look at uh, my contacts on Facebook and see all the um, guys that do Japanese artwork. And uh, take, um, I like going through the portfolios and, and seeing the uh, different types of uh, water droplets or water waves of water and then uh, carefully mix it in uh, yeah that's probably the best explanation I could say carefully mix it into a, a design shape that I'm going for There's uh, many ways to approach uh, so many types of artwork. And there's still other, um, you know, what I should do is I should find a, think of a way to do a one punch man uh, Japanese tattoo design, because I know that would be. Awesome. That's a, a Japanese. I believe it's 
it was still manga. Pretty sure it is manga. Character who uh, by his name One Punch Man can defeat his uh, enemies. And he's uh, a real funny dude. Sort of like a extremely powerful SpongeBob. Guys, uh, almost almost a bit naive, a little tiny bit, in the sense that I don't I don't believe uh, he sees his um, his power, but he remains uh, an honorable and simple character. But it has a lot of funny uh, punchlines in it. Japanese style one punch man tattoo design. If I say it again, and that's another copy in my brain that'll be a reminder. One punch man tattoo design. And and again that's a motivating story about the writer about that comic book because that he almost gave up, he almost quit, he almost uh, he almost didn't pursue uh, pursue his uh, drawing and writing career and we would have uh, we by, by, what I mean by we I mean all of us in the world would have lost that story or would have not heard it. I do want to draw a couple of versions of him. Probably the uh, comic book geeks or anime geeks would uh, really know about him. It'd be cool if the day comes when he's mainstream. It's a cool character. On YouTube, you'll find uh, some of, some clips from his episodes. And I believe his uh, strongest punch is equal to the force of the Big Bang that have created this universe in theory. But I gotta finish all these drawings because and you'll you'll meet people that uh, you'll go through the portfolio or the gallery that they have or uh, a hidden sketchbook and they have so many drawings that that they never finish because they supposedly didn't have time for it but you know you'll see them partying and drinking so I don't think that's the case No matter how uh, popular you are, or famous, or in demand, I think uh, one could say either I just haven't, ma I just don't make time for it, or one day I'll make time for it, but not, not on. I don't have time. We can. We make. We make time. All of us can. For whatever we decide to do so far. That's my name on Facebook. If you want to add me or follow me on there.